Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. Also, please take time to click that bell icon just below for notifications. On the menu today, we're going to make a beef and kale curry. We've got some lovely Indian spices in there. We've got super tender beef and, of course, lovely kale. What we're going to do is we go straight to the cooker on this one and I'll put the list of all the ingredients in the section below. Okay, so we're going to go straight in today. A list of all the ingredients will be in the text below. I've got some oil here. I'm using a sunflower oil, getting that nice and hot. We're going to drop in cumin seeds. To that, we're going to drop in some curry leaves. And just let them do their thing in that oil for a moment. So then fuse that oil beautifully. Next up, we're going to go for our beef. I've got some nice cubes of beef here. It's a nice cut of beef. A little bit of fat on there, but no bone. I'm going to let this go on a fairly lively heat for about four minutes. Okay, so we've just got a little bit of colour on the outside. We're now going to go in with our onion. Just one red onion I've got there, medium size. Now we're going to add one tablespoon of garlic ginger paste, which is a 50-50 mix of garlic and ginger. And again, I'm going to let it go for three or four minutes. Keep it moving. Okay, the next step is we're going to add one glass of water to that. What we're going to do is we're going to cook this with the lid off, let it steam out. This process is going to really help tenderize our beef. I mean, if you've got a really stubborn or tough piece of beef, you might need to do this a couple of times. This is not bad, this cut at all. So one time, it's going to take about five minutes, but it really will help make the beef nice and tender. So let, let it burn off. It doesn't all have to burn off, but you know, 90% of it, say, back in five minutes. Okay, so as you can see, that water's nearly all gone now. Just a process that really helps the meat on its way. We're now gonna put in our kale. Wash that and give it a nice little chop up. We're gonna stir fry this in for about another four minutes or so. Keep this one moving. So as you can see that our kale has dropped down in size as it cooks. We're now going to add in some fresh tomatoes. I've got two medium sized tomatoes there. Try and use a nice white juicy one. We're going to add some fresh chilli. And then our spices. Let's take a look at these. So I've got equal parts here. Like a heap teaspoon of chilli, turmeric, coriander and cumin powder. Let's get that in. Wonderful. We're now going to add more water, glass of water in there. We're going to get a lid on this now. And you let it go for about five or six minutes. What will happen, let me grab the lid. What will happen is the tomatoes will break down and give us off some more moisture. And hopefully we're nearly there. Okay, let me grab a cloth and get the lid off there for you. There'll be lots of steam. And as you can see, the tomatoes are breaking down really nicely. What we're gonna do now is add some coconut milk. In that goes.
we're going to lower the heat to a simmer now we're going to let this go for about another 8 to 10 minutes give it a stir every now and then ok let's get this lid off get some steam out of there I'm going to add a bit of salt to this. I'm going to add some fresh coriander, a nice large amount. And this is done. That meat is super tender. We've got all that lovely kale in there, some beautiful spices. And that's it. Grab yourself some rice, or in my case, I'm going to be using some parata or roti on this and bread hope you enjoy that don't forget to subscribe to our channel we'll see you soon lots of love with thousands of recipes and millions of views why not subscribe to our channel and join the family